Today I'm going to use Bayward Labs bulk creator add-in for PowerPoint to recreate this design, this worksheet, a couple of times, but just substituting um, this image and these words with other ones. So the first one, first thing I have to do is I'm going to add a data table and I'll only need two columns. So this table layout and saying delete. And the first column name will be called W for short for word. And I'll show you why I'll use W in a moment. And the second thing is going to have my images, which is this one here. So I'm just going to call it icon for now. The first row will be a bus. And I'm just going to make this table a bit bigger so I can fit in my icons. I'm going to copy this into my cell. I need to make sure that the um, image is small enough to fit inside the cell. And then I'll do the same thing for the next one. I'll create a heart. I'll insert an icon for heart. Again, I just need to make sure that it fits inside the cell. Now you can put anything in the cell. It can be an icon, it can be an image, it could be an object, anything that's in the cell. When it comes time to bulk creating, the add-in will automatically select what's in the cell. And I'll just continue adding some new words to this data table. Okay, there we go. We've got a data table now. We've got some words and we've got icons on the side. Now let's change this slide so that I can start filling stuff in. So I'll go back to my add-ins tab and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this part. Every time there's bus I'm going to replace it to with whatever's in here. So I can just highlight the word and press insert placeholder and the placeholders that show up is what's in this table. So the first one is W and you can see that's a text thing or oh, text type. I press insert and you'll see that W is inserted. This is just the font. What actually happens behind the scene is it's a special opening bracket. I'll sh show you in this part. These are the brackets. So you could either type this in yourself or you can use this insert placeholder. I'm just going to copy this and paste it again and just make this a bit wider. Now the reason I use W as the header is because otherwise if I had used something like Word, I would have to press Word here and you can see it gets quite um, expansive very quickly. So I like to use for texts, certainly just shorter names as the column names. And I'll just do the same here. I'll type it in this time, W, 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 make sure it's big enough. I'll do the placeholder this time, insert, Okay, so a couple of things to take note of. Um, don't be alarmed by this. This is just because the font doesn't support this character. But the add-in will still know that this is what something that you want to replace. Now the last thing we want to replace is, is this, this icon here on the side or this image. And the way I can do that is I can again press insert placeholders, but I choose the icon this time and I'll put it over here. I can delete this part now and I can just put it over here. What the um, add-in will do, it will grab this one here and place it right into the middle of this thing and expand it. So I'll put another icon here in this lower right corner, but make it smaller. So it will also size it so it fits into the space 
Okay, so let's give that a go. I'm going to click on generate and I'm going to say single row per slide. So for every row, it's going to create a new slide. Um, let's go. And there we go. This is as quick as that. Bus was the first one. You'll see that it's replaced the icons here and put the images, the text in there. That's worked well. Cool, that was that was the first part, but I want to expand this a little bit and show you one of these other options over here. So I'm going to press edit undo and that just removed all the slides that I just generated. I'm going to create another slide. I'm going to copy and paste this slide and for the second slide I don't need this part. But I do want for the second slide just a big icon over here. So it should show me the word with the icon over here. But I want this for every word. So I want bus to be filled in and then to create a bus second slide. The next one I'll do heart filled in. And the slide after that, I want to have the heart just to be displayed. So the way you can do that is you click generate again. But this time you say this single row has should be used over multiple rows or multiple slides. And you just have to then specify how many slides should be copied. So it's slide one and slide two where this is happening. And if I press OK now, you'll see that the first slide has the bus and it has this here. I noticed that this isn't centered. I'll want to center that. Heart, heart, frog, frog. Okay, that worked almost, but I just want to center this text. So I'll do undo this one again. And in here, I'll just make sure that the text is centered. better and I'll recreate that single row over multiple slides slide one and pull two and I press OK bus bus centered this time heart heart is centered as well and there you go um, and you can easily expand this and create just small rows as you go and keep on typing just expanding this data table and you can have hundreds of slides very, very quickly. Thanks for watching.